All right, this is Juan. Today we're talking about high capacity batteries for the Biofang UV5 type radio. We got a couple here sitting on the table. I'm going to start off by saying I, I don't consider this absolute fact advice. This is just general observations as of today on these various batteries by me and other people that uh, work with these kind of radios. Okay, first off, the one on the left. I'm going to call the one on the left the more usable battery. Let's call the one on the right the less usable battery. And let's look at them in detail to help you make your buying decision on these. All right, the one on the left, the one I prefer to buy when I can find it. You can see the face here is almost smooth, and you have two vertical lines molded into it. It has a real Baofeng sticker on it, which may or may not mean anything. If you look inside, you see it's almost smooth. It's got a couple of tabs in the back and then the lip on the front. On the back, you have two long vertical stripes and one inset circle. Okay, the one on the right, it's got this chevron pattern on the front. It's got a label, but it doesn't really say Baofeng on it. If you look inside, it still has a lot of excess molding. And we'll show you in a minute what that means on a battery like that. Now on the back, it's got the U-shaped line and three of these round dots. All right, something I'll notice on the label here. This says a 7.4 volt 1800 milliamp battery which is not really a high capacity battery even though it's got the extended shape that you'd uh, associate with the high capacity battery. If you look at the one on the left it is a 3800 milliamp 7.4 volt battery which I would associate with being true high capacity for the Baofeng. All right, let's talk about issues with how these batteries fit on the radio. I'm gonna start with the Chevron front. And I've got a UV5R Plus here on the left. We will place it and slide it down. You can see that the uh, internal moldings are keeping this particular model from locking in correctly. All right, now we've got UV5 RTP. Now it doesn't have the problem with the moldings interfering. This one will not lock in at the top under the battery latch. And part of the reason for that, if we look at the tabs, the chevron front has a slightly lower plastic tab at the top. You might need to file that down so it locks in. So that is our chevron front. Okay, let's look at the two stripes front battery. And again, I've got the UV5R Plus. We're going to slot this in. It's got a good hold to it. The battery latch attached. Let's turn it on. Panel mode. Okay, so really no problems on the UV5 R Plus. Turn it on again. It's holding pretty steady. We'll take that off. Okay, let's grab our UT, UV5 RTP. We'll place this correctly. 
slot it in. Turns on. Does not pull off. It's secure along the edge here. So that is the big difference when you're buying the high capacity battery. The two stripes version and the Chevron front version. All right, I'm going to say again that these are my personal general observations on the Baofeng UV5 high capacity batteries as of the date of this video. Uh, personally, I try to buy the two stripe front batteries uh, for my radio. 